Hey y'all, welcome back to Harmon Homestead. Well, here she is. This is our peaches and cream corn crop. So after I side dressed the corn, it rained on it heavily for two days and we had no rain until last week. The last two rows here, the fourth and fifth row, were stunted. They still are, they're very short. Now we've had tons of rain the past week. So the corn has actually come on up. It's done better than I thought but still it's not where I want it. It's gonna be small corn. Now the first three rows are huge. That's, that's where we want it. So I want to show you this morning, the corn, all of it is tasseling. That's what you want. So I'm gonna walk through here and show you this corn. The weeds have come up. I'm not really worried about it because we're fixing to pick this corn all the way down through there. Look at this. I'm gonna say it's seven to eight and a half foot tall on this tallest corn. Now, when you see the very tops, that's called tasseling. How do you know when your corn is ready to pick? After the corn tassels up here, it will get pollinated by wind. All of this will shake around and it'll pollinate your ears. These are your ears of corn. They will silk. That's your silks. See the little pieces of the tassel down in the silk? That's what you want. A lot of people will say, well, when the ears fall away from the stalk, this one's doing that. It's starting to, but it's not ready yet. And I'm gonna try to get a picture here. I saw two trying to turn already. Let me see if I can get on the other end, guys. Okay, here's one very small stalk that I have. The top of the tassel is turning. That doesn't matter. But the silks are starting to turn. And the reason I'm showing you this is because the ear is wanting to fall away from the stalk. And he's turning. I have seen people post and put up on Facebook and online, Our corn's so great. It's wonderful. They've picked it like this. If at all possible, wait. This silk has a long way to go before you pick this corn. Right now, just because it's turning, that does not mean it's ready. The silk will dry up completely. It will look burnt. It will be black. It won't even be a silk anymore. It'll be just like a little thing hanging down that's black, burnt. That's when your corn's ready. Not when you start to see deep color like this. It has to be completely dry. Like I said, you won't even notice the silk anymore. It'll just hang over and be burnt. That's what you want for these ears. I've gotten towards the end of the best rows. There's my other silk that's starting to turn. It starts with a burgundy color, a rust burgundy color, and then it turns black. That is not ready. Don't pick it yet, guys. Just wait. Just wait. And We'll give you a video when the corn is ready. When it looks this color, I'm gonna say you've got a week and a half to maybe two weeks. Three weeks optimally once you see your corn silk. We are one week and a half in. So we've got a ways to go. But once they start turning, they all turn. Just like the tasseling. Once they tassel, they all tassel. They just, they do this as a group. But look at that. We've had a very good stand this year. I was surprised because I really didn't think we would get anything with all of the, the the drought that we went through. I really did not. I thought it was a total loss this year. Also, you'll see your ears fill out. He's starting, you can't really see with the leaves, but he's really starting to fill out. They're gonna get a lot bigger than what you first see when they, they silk after they tassel. That's thin. He's going to get double that size. Right now is when the kernels are enlarging. You're, you're getting your corn. So that's it, guys. Just wait. Don't make this mistake and pick your corn right now when you see it turn. Wait till it's dried up. The silk's not standing up. It's fell over. And the ear will just about get at a 45 degree angle from that stalk, if not further. 